Uh, thank you. Welcome back to Jehovah Elohim channel. With you today is Dr. Mildred Oduo, and I'm glad to have you today. Today, I want to share with you briefly about the term, the term. And our text is coming from the book of James, chapter 3, verse 8 to 9. And before I read the text, let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come before you with thanksgiving in my heart. Almighty Father, may you teach us your word today. May your word be part of our life. May your word change us and transform us. And may your word equip us for, equip us for your second coming. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My text is from James chapter 3, verse 8 and 9. And I read, But no man can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With the tongue, we praise the Lord and Father. And with it, we curse men who have been made in the image of God. Brothers and sisters, the tongue operates like a thermometer and a thermostat. We all have the iron box in our house, and we know how the thermometer operates in, that, uh, in our lives and how a thermostat operates in an iron box. Thermometer records the temperature, while a thermostat records the temperature of the iron box. The tongue as a thermometer. Number one, it reveals the levels of spirituality in our lives. It controls the levels of spirituality in your life. Meaning, when you're going high, it controls you. When you lose your temper, you can utter things that you ought not to utter as a Christian because of the tongue. The tongue, number two, exposes the condition of the heart. Out of the heart comes an abundance. The tongue cannot speak what is not in your heart. It only delivers what is in your heart. Good or bad, the tongue will speak. Number three, the tongue, we use the tongue to swear. Swearing exposes a profane bad heart. We know that what you're speaking is not true, but you swear in the name of God using the tongue. Number four, the tongue exposes each and everything in our lives. We speak using the tongue. We vomit using the tongue. We eat using the tongue. It exposes our greediness. A glutton, you eat a lot of food because of the tongue. We use the tongue to murmur. Murmuring exposes a thankless heart. Brothers and sisters, you don't need to murmur. When the Israelites murmured in the desert, and God gave them meat, but when the meat was still in their mouth, it turned into maggots. God can turn your blessings into pain. God can turn your blessings into, into maggots. God can, God can turn your blessings into something that can hinder your life if you continue murmuring. And the last one, murmuring exposes a jealous heart. Jealousy is exposed through your murmuring, through your heart, through your, your jealousiness, through your, your bad heart. Before I close, I know you are there and you know your tongue is causing you to sin. Your tongue is exposing you to evil. Your tongue is driving you into bad circumstances and situations. Jesus is asking you today, come unto me and I will change and transform your life. And I close. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your servant who has been listening to me. I trust and believe that your word is going to transform their lives. Their tongues are going to be changed. They will use their tongues for good, not for evil. I give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.